I want to give you three tips to use when troubleshooting a dead mobile phone. So using these tips, you will be able to easily find out a problem with a dead mobile phone and solve the dead mobile phone problem and bring back the phone to life. Instead of you to just focus in the process of troubleshooting, in the hardware process of troubleshooting that problem, there are three things in which you have to have in mind when troubleshooting any dead mobile phone. Okay. So, when you receive a phone from the customer, from a customer, the customer says that this phone is not switching on. Instead, for you to just open the phone, start troubleshooting the problem, I want you to ask some few things to the customer, which is very important, and you will see why it's very important in this video. Ask the customer what happened to the phone. That's very important. Ask the customer how was the phone behaving before it went dead. Okay, first, if the customer says this phone is not switching on due to hard fall, which means that the phone fell on the ground, you need to have in mind that that phone has an open circuit due to the hard fall. So when the phone falls on the ground, what occurs in the phone is what we call a shock. And that shock is an open circuit. It can be on any IC. Knowing that the phone fell on the ground, you will be opening that phone, focusing on troubleshooting and finding the open circuit, which you can use schematic diagram, use bin mapping to find the open circuit. Some you won't be able to easily see it because it might be on different ICs. So heating up the ICs to the extent that the solder balls will melt can solve open circuits or reboiling the ICs can solve the open circuit or you can fall down then one IC will break in which you can easily see it physically. So when you open a phone which is not switching on due to hard falling, you can physically check the ICs, check the components if anyone is broken. So you need to have in mind that a fallen phone is always an open circuit. Second, if the customer says that the phone is not switching on due to water damage, the phone fell on water, you need to have in mind that that phone might have either a short circuit or an open circuit you understand so that open circuit can be due to burns caused by that short circuit in that mobile phone and mostly when troubleshooting a phone which is not switching on or a phone having some type of problem due to water damage you need to check the backlight section well and the reason why you need to take a look and really focus in the backlight section is because the backlight section generates a lot of voltage and that voltage can really cause a lot of problems when there is a short circuit in that section so imagine 25 volt getting in contact having a shortage in a mobile phone so you will see that it causes a lot of burns especially to the display connector and third if the customer says that before the phone went there it was operating very slow you need to have in mind that it's due to solve their problem and you can easily solve this problem by flashing you need to have in mind that flashing cannot solve all software problem Sometimes when the partition of the RAM, the EMMC, is damaged, you will need to reprogram the EMMC. And in some cases, you need to change the EMMC. That is why a phone might have software problem and you really know that, yeah, it's software problem. Then you flash, it flash well, but still the problem continues. So you need to have these few things in mind. And for those of you who want to join my mobile repairing course and learn everything in less than two months, make sure you message me using my number in the video description or in the pinned comment. So once you message me, I will give you all information about my course, the price, and it's really fair. Then give you all the topics in which you will go through. This course is something that you won't have to miss because this is a very good advantage for you to learn everything about mobile repairing in just a short time. Meanwhile, I will update you with a lot of tips and a lot of tutorial videos. Like this video, subscribe, goodbye, and see you soon.